there and welcome over here. I'm so excited to bring this video to you today just because it is another grocery budget challenge. I love doing these grocery budget challenges because they're really fun and it's just kind of like a challenge for me. But this video is all about $5 at Walmart plus this is a meatless meal or a vegetarian meal, whatever you like to call it. So I had some requests on my previous videos like this to do a meatless meal. So that is what it is. It is going to be a vegetarian meal and this meal is going to be so delicious. I hope you guys all enjoy it. And if you are new here, I would love to have you over here at my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but let's go ahead to Walmart. Here I am just at my local Walmart picking up the groceries. I did want to let you know if you are new here though that I pretty much live in the middle of nowhere right now with my family. So the only grocery store in our area is a commissary but then we could drive about an hour and a half two hours away and we could get to the Walmart. So this is where I am at. I'm just at the Walmart a couple hours away. I do know that there's cheaper grocery stores like Winco and other places have cheaper stores but unfortunately Walmart is the cheapest option I have right now. I just got back from Walmart and here's everything I picked up. I do want to mention though that I forgot to get some bouillon cubes similar to this or a package similar to this. The package similar to this at my Walmart is around 40 cents to about 70 cents. So if I would have bought um, bouillon cube packet, I would have still been under budget or right at the $5 budget. So I'm just going to be using these three bouillon cubes from my own pantry. And then over here I got some spinach. This is just 12 ounces of frozen spinach. I love buying frozen spinach like this. And then over here I got a package of carrots. This is just 16 ounces of carrots. Carrots are unbelievably cheap. So if you don't have a lot of money right now, you could buy a package of carrots. And carrots do last in the refrigerator for a little while. And then also, if you're not gonna use this entire bag of carrots, you could just um, peel them, dice them, and stick them in your freezer. I've also done that before. And then I just got one onion, a lemon. Lemon is great because lemon is another one of those things that's just like super, super inexpensive. Plus it has a lot of vitamin C. So I like to sneak lemon in my meals when I can. Then some chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you like to call it. I got 15 and a half ounces of these. The reason I actually got this is because my daughter Brinley has been obsessing over um, garbanzo beans recently so I got that I think she'll love this meal and then over here I just have some of these shells this is just 16 ounces of these shells I will definitely not be using this entire box I do not think it's a pound I'll probably just be using like a quarter of this box which is fine because I'll use um, the remainder of this for a different dinner but let's get cooking to get us started off, I'm just going to be chopping up our one onion into smaller pieces along with some of our carrots. I'm not sure yet how many carrots I'm going to be using. I'm probably going to be using, let's see how big they are. Um, I'm going to be using about six carrots. You could see some of them are smaller and then some of them are bigger. So I'm just going to peel these carrots and get them chopped up as well as this onion. Now that we chopped up all of our veggies, we are over here at my stove and I have my Dutch oven right here. If you don't have a Dutch oven, that's totally fine. You could just use a large pot. 
but I'm going to start to saute our vegetables and you want them to become soft. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of some water to the bottom of my pan. You could also use oil, but since I'm trying to make this as budget friendly as possible, I just added water and water works really well to saute vegetables, you know, if you don't have oil. So now I'm just going to be adding our chopped up onion along with our carrots and you want them to start to get soft. You want that onion to be fully trans leave scent so this is going to take about five to seven minutes also this might seem like a lot of carrots and onions in here but trust me this is going to add so much flavor for such a little cost um my mom taught me this trick as a kid just add more carrots and onions to things and it's just going to add more flavor Okay, so really quickly, I do want to show you something so, so funny. So I'm in the middle of cooking, um, but this is what Brinley typically does when I cook. She typically plays, this is her little shopping cart right here and her baby. And I, hi, say hi, Brinley. Say hi. Hi. Good job, sweetie. But I keep this drawer for her right here and I keep it full of stuff she could play with like sippy cups that she doesn't use anymore or like sometimes I keep toys in there. So while I'm cooking, she could just play with that stuff. Thank you. Okay, you want me to put it here? Good job. Okay, go shopping now. And it keeps her entertained for a little while and she just pretends to go shopping throughout my whole house. And I just think it is so funny and I had to show you really, really quickly because I don't know, I just think it's really cute. But another thing she likes to do while I'm cooking, I keep this locked, but she likes to go where my pots and pans are and bring them all throughout the house too. So I try to keep her away from that cabinet. But say, let's get onto the video, Brinley. Yeah, good job. Now that our onions are translucent and our um, carrots are pretty much soft. We're going to begin to season it up with a few seasonings. I'm just using a little sprinkle of some thyme. Thyme adds great flavor to meals along with some dillweed. This dillweed is going to be really good because this is going to be kind of lemony in the end. And then the last seasonings I'm adding is just a little bit of some salt and pepper to your taste. Now I'm going to be adding in my eight cups of broth. This is just water with those bouillon cubes that I showed you in the beginning at our grocery haul. As you can see, they're not quite dissolved in there. And next we're going to be adding our can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. These are drained and rinsed. I'm just going to be adding one cup of these shells in. So I'm just going to bring this up to a boil and let this simmer for about 10 minutes or until our pasta shells are all cooked up. Now we have our noodles completely cooked and I'm going to be adding in our one lemon. I'm just going to be squeezing this in. You could add more or less lemon depending on how much you guys like lemon. I do also want to mention that our heat is completely off at this point and now I'm just going to be adding this entire 12 ounce bag of spinach in. If you're also not a fan of spinach, you could add some chopped kale in. Now I'm just going to stir everything together and get it well combined. You pretty much want this spinach to no longer be frozen and be incorporated in. Here is my soup. I just sprinkled mine with some Parmesan cheese and some parsley flakes just for color and then a little bit of lemon. But it, this came out so, so good. It made about six to seven servings. So this made a lot of food for only like $5. And I didn't even make a dent in the pasta noodles. There's still so many pasta noodles left. So this is such a great recipe if you're trying to save money. Plus it is also a meatless meal.
And that is a wrap of another grocery budget challenge. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Maybe got some meal inspiration. And I hope you're enjoying fall this year so far. I'm hoping this weekend to take my daughter Brinley to the pumpkin patch. So that would be fun. But I hope you guys are all doing well. And if you are new here, of course, I would love to have you over here. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video. But I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.